Hi everyone, I'm going to take you through recording uh, to multitrack and setting all up and using soundcheck as well. Um, I've got all the mix of the band up and all the inputs running. Myself, I'm connected to input 20. And the first thing to do is let's have a look at the recording setup here. We have the multitrack, the two track, and the multitrack configuration. In the multitrack configuration, we can configure the type of uh, file type we want, FLAC 24, FLAC 16, Wave 24, Wave 16. If it's a slower stick that you have, you choose a FLAC 16. I'm just using a normal USB stick. To get the best out of it, Wave 24 is great, and you must use sticks that are minimum 20 megabits per second write and read speed. A lot of USB 3 sticks that are sold, they're sold as fast stick, and you can check in it's at 40 megabits per second, but that's the read speed we need write speed to be fast as well. So that's a little bit more checking that you must do to make sure that it can actually write it fast enough. If not, the system will tell you that it's too slow and it'll show you the buffer settings. In the multi-track playback screen here, it'll show you the sessions that you've recorded, what channels were recorded, and also the patching, the mixer patching. Now you can manually patch by just double clicking uh, on the actual um, slot number here and selecting what channel it should play back on if you feel like it but the better way to do it is to actually set up a patch for it for sound check it's just much easier that'll take everything onto it and obviously switch me off because everything else was going to the sound check mode the sound check mode can be set up in the patching page that's your normal mode and this is the sound check mode and you activate it either on this page or on the player page itself. If I activate it now, I, I will lose my voice. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to go to edit channel here in the mixer, and I'm going to select channel 20, the mic. I'm gonna click on edit. I'm going to go to my patching screen here, and I'm going to select in the sound check assignment. That's a normal assignment. That's a sound check assignment. You see the section goes green. I'm going to go to local and set number 20, so this won't change. Okay, when I click on sound check assignment, that won't change now on the uh, on the player page. If I go back to the player page now to click on sound check, I'm still there, and you can see slot 20 doesn't get assigned to the file to the line left file that was going to be played back there. This is your buffer setting, and it'll show you how much space is remaining on your drive and how much buffer is being used while it's um, reading or writing from the stick itself. Uh, another important point here, the record button is for record and stop record. The stop and play are for actually playback and stopping. So record is for record arm, recording and stopping the record. Same in the USB 2 track player. This is for recording and stopping the record. And then you've got play and stop here. Because on the 2 track, you can actually record a 2 track while you're playing a two track file. You can actually record multi-track while you're playing back a two track file. All of those configurations uh, enable you to utilize the UI24 to its fullest that way because you can record the master left right while still recording individual files as well so you can listen to your mix back if you feel like it. Um, and back to the multi-track config again you don't have to record all the channels you can select which channels you want to record. Um, obviously that makes the file a lot smaller. And once you've recorded the files, you can grab them, especially if they're WAV files, and dump them directly into your door, drag and drop, basically. You don't have to convert anything. You just grab them all from the USB stick into your PC or Mac, grab the files, and drop them in there. Now, let's go back to my mix here, and uh, I'll get the band to play something, and we can start recording the file then. Okay, so I'll go here. I'll click the record button. Okay, and we'll go back to my plan and tell the band to start going here. Yeah. We need you guys to sing this one. So basically one, we're gonna record two, about uh, fifty one, seconds two, or so three, directly. Yeah. You'll also see that on the top right hand corner it says MTK, that means your multi track is recording currently. Okay, 
I think that'll be enough for the demo mode. I'll go back to my multi-track recorder here and hit the stop button on the multi-track. Now this stop and start multi-track is also available from the player page here. You can start multi-track and stop multi-track player and the recorder. Same with two-track player and recorder can be stopped directly from this screen here. We'll go into this here and that's our third session recorded. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to totally initialize the the uh, the, the player, the, um, the mixer, and put everything to flat zero. I'll have to then assign my voice so that'll take a couple of seconds. You can watch that on the screen. So we'll go to init. should be back with you now, which I am. I'm going to remove some of the machine noise in this room, just a little bit of it that way. Beautiful. Okay, so we're back here. And now what we're going to do is going to go to our player page and we're going to select session three and I'm going to click on sound check. Now clicking on sound check here will obviously of my voice as you heard before. So I would, for this purpose of the demo, I would go to my settings page Okay, I click on edit channels so I can go to channel 20. So I better select channel 20 first here, edit channel, go to my patch bay, go to sound check assignment, okay, which I had it on, and local 20. Okay, so now if when I go to sound check, it won't get rid of my voice again. So we go to the player here, and if I activate sound check, you can see all the channels there. If we hit play, it's about a minute that we recorded. I can go out here and we can start seeing the levels come up as we play the back. And individually bring up the channels as you want them. Now, I could have left the EQ and everything else as I had before and um, just play back on top of it. Because remember, you're recording directly from ADC or directly from USB B and without any interference to, uh, to the actual signal. So they're all pre-EQ, pre-compression. And um, it's basically as simple as that. The nice thing about it is that you can have redundant recordings as well. Um, as you can see here, I can stop that. You can have redundant recording as well um, while recording to USB B, all the, uh, which is your door. You can record all the channels and at the same time recording to the USB A, to the USB stick. Um, I know some customers are using SSD drives, USB operated SSD drives as well. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to go through. Just remember on the patching page, okay? So your USB A is your stick, your USB door is your connection to the door. You can see sound check mode is on up here. So if you suddenly can't change gains or uh, um, can't change some other input sections, remember that you're in sound check mode and uh, SC will be up there. So keep that in mind when you're using the system. Enjoy. Thank you.